What's up YouTube? Welcome to the brand new channel we got here. Uh, my name is Colt. I will be your host in this channel. Um, basically, we're going to start this channel off. Um, Reaper Transport is our new business. We are starting a logistics company, uh, my wife and I, and we are going to be doing hot shot trucking. So we went out and bought a new, uh, new trailer, a truck, and uh, trying to get this thing going on here. So today's video, we're gonna go over installing a winch on a new gooseneck trailer without having to weld. So everything is completely bolted on. Uh, all you really need is a drill, some drill bits, a measuring tape, and uh, we picked up a winch from Harbor Freight. It is the 9,000 pound winch with the mounting bracket sold separately. We went ahead and got that. And um, let me just show you the setup here. So here is it all installed and completed. Uh, basically all you need is you're gonna need a drill, measuring tape and drill bits. And when I first put this on, we used the mounting bracket alone and uh, we, we squared it off, measured it, got it right dead center. We drilled the holes and when we put the mounting bracket and the winch on top, we found that the, wind, the lines on the mounting bracket wouldn't line up because of this crossbar was too close to the winch. So what we had to do was got on Amazon, ordered this two by two square tubing from Amazon. It was like 35 bucks. It took a few days to get here. Lined that up as well, drilled the holes for that, basically using this as a spacer to bring this mounting bracket out. Um, once that was done, the winch fit on here perfectly. It was great. Um, so what we really have is the only thing holding this is the crossbar. These are T, uh, these are grade eight half inch bolts. And we also got grade eight five sixteenths here. These, these are one inch long and I believe these right here are probably, I think they're two inch, two and a half right here actually. Uh, yeah, about two and a half inches. So we had the drill here. Obviously, when you start drilling, you want to go smallest to the largest. It helps uh, with the bits, save the life. Uh, I got some oil here I dipped every time to make sure it didn't overheat. <clears throat> Once you get it all measured out in center, you can bolt these up. And then once this is uh, installed, what I did was line it up with here and I did my markings on both sides. I marked both sides here because you can't drill with this mounted on. So I had to take this off, mark my holes where I wanted to drill, then take this off, drill the hole in the trailer, both sides, put this back on, tighten everything down to where it's gonna be when it's in its final resting place. And then once it was tightened down, go from underneath underneath here I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not but right there and I marked each hole on here so that gave me where I needed to drill on the actual rollers so then do the same thing with that you just where you mark you want to drill the holes for your rollers on both sides start from smallest work your way up um, these are, I said were five sixteenths uh, grade 8 bolts which are uh, they say it's the strongest bolt that you can get so honestly with this setup this is how we mounted our bracket without having to weld because obviously we don't have a welder uh, so if you don't have a welder this is probably your best route and honestly it wasn't that hard it only took me a, maybe an hour or two to do uh, the hardest part was uh, getting everything measured out where I wanted it to be center here so it's, it's not bad. You just you just line this up and you measure both sides of your um, crossbar there and find the center. And that is the final product. Uh, hopefully, uh, we ain't going to use it a lot, but obviously it's uh, it'll be a nice thing to have just in case we do need it. 
the next video that I'm going to try to post is actually putting the winch on here and um, running the wires and hopefully find a spot for the battery. I don't know if I want to put it in the toolbox because I don't want to try to take up much space. Uh, obviously, I'm already kind of limited. I got a lot of stuff in there already. So um, if I have to, obviously that's going to be the spot for the battery. But uh, we'll see when the time comes. Hopefully in a few days, we'll get another video posted here for you guys. But this is the quickest and easiest way uh, on a, uh, it was cheap just the cost of the bolts i already had the drill bits and everything else so less than 10 bucks to get this thing mounted up can't beat that thanks a lot facebook or uh, <laughs> youtube uh like and subscribe and hopefully i get a little bit better at these videos as uh, they go on